Welcome to our channel. Space weather, solar flares and coronal mass ejections could damage satellites, disrupt communications and even affect Earth's power grids. The term space weather, which has only recently entered the scientific vocabulary, encompasses phenomena occurring beyond Earth's atmosphere that impact our planet. A key driver of such phenomena is the activity of our Sun. Though it may seem like a stable source of light and warmth, the star at the center of our system regularly undergoes turbulent changes that give rise to solar flares and coronal mass ejections CMEs, both of which can significantly affect life on Earth. Solar flares are sudden and powerful bursts of energy in the Sun's atmosphere, caused by sudden rearrangements of magnetic fields. These flares release radiation, reaching Earth within minutes. This radiation includes X-rays and gamma rays, along with ultraviolet light, which can significantly impact our planet's ionosphere. For those of us on Earth's surface, X-rays and ultraviolet radiation are absorbed by the upper atmosphere and pose no direct health risk. However, they can severely disrupt high-frequency radio signals. Aviation, maritime navigation, air traffic control systems and global communication networks that rely on radio waves can be affected. Solar flares may last anywhere from a few minutes to several hours, but their impact on modern systems can be felt for much longer. Solar flares can also trigger what are known as proton events where highly energetic particles reach near Earth's space and interact with satellites and spacecraft. For astronauts working aboard the International Space Station or preparing for deep space missions, such events pose significant danger, as these particles can penetrate protective shielding and cause radiation exposure. Coronal mass ejections CMEs, are even more powerful and long-lasting events. Unlike solar flares, which involve radiation bursts, CMEs are massive clouds of plasma ejected from the Sun's surface. These clouds contain charged particles, protons and electrons, traveling at high speeds. CMEs can reach Earth in 1-3 days and interact with the planet's magnetic field. When a CME strikes Earth, it can trigger geomagnetic storms, which in turn cause intense electrical currents in the ionosphere and magnetosphere. These currents can infiltrate electrical systems on Earth, causing overloads that damage transformers and result in power outages. One example of this occurred during a 1989 geomagnetic storm in Canada when a major power grid failure in Quebec left millions of people without electricity for hours. Geomagnetic storms also produced stunning natural displays like the northern and southern lights, visible near the poles. However, Beneath these awe-inspiring spectacles lies the reality of potential technological disruption. During intense storms, satellites, communication systems, navigation devices and even spacecraft can be affected. Forecasting such events has become a crucial aspect of space science. Modern society is heavily reliant on satellites. Every day we depend on them for communication, navigation, weather forecasting, climate monitoring, and even financial transactions. When a solar flare or CME reaches Earth, satellites in geostationary or low Earth orbit may be at risk. Solar particles can damage a satellite's electronic components or cause temporary outages. Even brief disruptions can lead to severe economic and security consequences. As many critical systems depend on satellites functioning seamlessly, 
manned missions such as those aboard the International Space Station ISS also face significant risks from space weather. Astronauts in space are exposed to higher levels of radiation, especially during proton events resulting from major solar flares. During such events, crews may need to take shelter in designated areas aboard the ISS where shielding is stronger. Future missions beyond Earth's orbit, including lunar and Martian missions, will require more accurate space weather forecasting. Outside the protection of Earth's magnetic field, space radiation poses a serious threat to both crew health and equipment. Therefore, developing early warning systems and protective measures against solar activity is a priority for space agencies. Geomagnetic storms caused by the interaction between CMEs and Earth's magnetic field can have far-reaching effects on terrestrial infrastructure. Electrical currents induced in high-voltage power lines can lead to overheating and damage to transformers, resulting in widespread power outages. In a world that is increasingly dependent on electricity, such events could have catastrophic consequences for industry, healthcare, and daily life. The 1859 Carrington event a powerful solar flare that triggered a geomagnetic storm is one of the most vivid reminders of how the sun can impact Earth. The storm knocked out telegraph systems across the globe. In today's complex and interconnected world, a similar event could result in multi-day or even multi-week power outages, causing massive economic damage. The scientific community is actively working to improve space weather forecasting methods. Observational missions, such as the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory SOHO and the Parker Solar Probe, provide crucial data on the processes occurring on the Sun and help us better understand the mechanisms of solar flares and CMEs. Modern models enable us to predict the approach of coronal mass ejections and estimate their potential impact on Earth. However, Despite advances in forecasting, full protection against solar storms remains elusive. Engineers and scientists are also working to create systems more resilient to space weather. Satellites and other spacecraft are being equipped with additional radiation shielding, which minimizes the risk of malfunction during periods of solar activity. Efforts are also underway to strengthen electric grids to prevent serious damage during geomagnetic storms. As technology advances, humanity becomes increasingly dependent on space. Satellite systems, manned missions and space exploration all require a deep understanding of processes taking place on the Sun and in space. Space weather is a critical field of study, bringing together astronomers, physicists, engineers, and security specialists. The future of humanity in space will depend on our ability to predict and adapt to the changes happening on the Sun. The Sun, the source of life, can also pose threats to our technologies and infrastructure. And while our star is millions of kilometers away from Earth, its influence on our planet is becoming ever more apparent. Space weather is a challenge that requires not only scientific breakthroughs but also global awareness that space is a shared responsibility for all of us. If you're fascinated by space, new discoveries, and the mysteries of the universe, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our latest videos. Share your thoughts in the comments. Your feedback helps us improve our content. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to hit the bell to stay updated with new releases. Let's explore the secrets of space together.